Okay, hey, what's up Aquarius? Welcome back to my channel. My headphones are still in. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Finding Peyote. Um, I'm going to do a reading right now for right now. I'm going to just kind of like um, maybe do a three card spread and then just kind of go from there. Just kind of freestyle and see and just kind of what messages come out. And, um, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. We're Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. So I'll do, um, just like past, present, future. And just go from there. See where, where it takes us. Maybe we can do, like, um, multiple readings, you know, like, just do it again and again, whatever. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. Three cards. Okay. The past. The world. Okay. It's always good. The present. The ten of cards. Okay. And in the future, whoa, we have the tower, crazy. This is <laughs> And the hermit who was at the bottom, remember? It was like at the bottom when I started right like before I started shuffling anyways. So what the heck? This is insane. Um let's just <laughs> clarify, right? So you have the world as a path, so something that you've ended that needed to end. You did a great job doing that. It also could represent you, Aquarius, because you're um, a fixed sign in the world. The present is the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, all this wish fulfillment stuff, and then the Tower, which could be positive or negative. So let's clarify the world, please. Oh, the Ten of Wands. Okay, so something that you had to end could be at work with this like three of pentacles here it could be a third party situation in some in some aspect um not necessarily people but just something maybe um somebody else influencing you in your life and your relationships or um some type of like habit like in, in, in a work situation The world is looking at this Ten of Wands too. What's the Ten of Wands? The Empress. Okay. So you could be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra, but you could have, you know, needed to end things with this person um, um, in order or, or, or not really end things with this person, but it seems because the world is looking at this ten of wands so it's kind of maybe more like standing up for yourself and letting go of stuff in the past in order to kind of have a better um outlook on on this relationship with this person it's like wanting to change and um, move past past trauma in order to be suitable to be with this empress The Ten of Cups is clarified with the Three of Wands, so that's something that you were really had put in a lot of, of work for that you that you didn't really think was going to come in. Yeah, put in a lot of work for with this Eight of Pentacles. Holy cow. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Um, I just asked what this like Ten of Cups, who was this Ten of Cups with? And so it's somebody who now is, you know, really dependable and is somebody that has maybe come into your life unexpectedly. 
and this is realizing, um, you know, you, you put in all this work and, and realize, you know, even to in the past kind of where you went wrong and everything. And this is kind of the rewards of that, of like kind of wish, wishful thinking, um, but good, good thinking, working hard and, and um, having somebody who kind of comes into your life who's pretty surprising. Some talent. Hmm. says the tower is a success this is in the future the page of pentacles i think is an offer right an offer and looking at things you know from a different perspective but this is going to be a victory well this death card was kind of like popping out so we'll take it so it'll be a new beginning the five of pentacles okay so that can be of, of changing the way that you look at things um like this lack mentality um, sometimes things can seem to be too good to be true. The world, yeah, in to kind of circle, it just circles back to things of the past is that th the things that you're ending is just doing a, a really great ripple effect of um, things to change in your life kind of in all aspects. It's like... Um, not in just relationships, but everything. Or not in just work, but also in relationships. The Hermit. Yeah, I was thinking about it here too. And then, and then it came out. And the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. And the Hermit kind of makes me think about, um, you know, really reflecting on all of these things. Um, so, I gain this feeling of like being... Um, grateful for the things that you have. In the past it says message of concern. Let me get the book. So I don't know. Oh. Number 14. You should reconsider your wishes and goals. Well, oh, this card warns you against delusions, sad news, or the inconvenient truth. This may concern partnership and professional or money matters. Try to do better in the future. News arrives that's a little depressing. Alternately, it could be a minor illness or weakness. This yeah, I mean... Um... You could have received news, you know, that kind of gave you no choice where you had to say goodbye to some situation um, and kind of boss up with this Empress energy because, you know, you had to end. It could be work because the pentacles are here, but maybe that was the news was that, but maybe that kind of was like, like the final straw in this past situation that made you kind of have to say goodbye but honestly what that did was bring awesome stuff and and more stability um and more options things that you're waiting for you're kind of living in this ten of cups like living your best life you know right now And that's clarified with the pathway card, which is being thankful for what you have and also being realistic um, in, in realizing that success takes time or, or things, you, you have to work hard for things and that, that's okay. This mature woman is clarifying the tower, so that could be... becoming wiser from these situations privileged lady and community okay you know that kind of seems like maybe you could get some type of new beginning with this mature woman and, and become a privileged lady um 
and and that in turn gives you time to kind of the community card is to realize what you want I realize I'm not even showing you guys these cards I'm just like just look at my own business <laughs> the community card is going to show you um you, allow you to learn about what you really want to do in life of who you really want to be imprisonment yeah you could feel that way now and toil and labor yeah see so right that kind of is along with path of what i was saying doing things that you have to do realizing that things do take time and like that's okay Could have been dealing with the Capricorn in the past. Um, this could have been, you know, something that you were really addicted to, a person that, you know, really kind of had you for a while. <laughs> and they could have had other people. That could have been the message of concern. That could have been that final straw for you. Ten of Cups, yeah, because now you are Queen of Pentacles. You're just kind of really um, maybe spending a lot of time in nature, but like being, you know, really abundant and kind of knowing um, who you are as a person now. And, and, and the Queen of Pentacles is the person who always remains kind you know even though um things can be bad you kind of always um take the was a higher um, the high road right seven of swords is here so that could be you know feeling like you were betrayed in the past maybe holding on to that in the back of your mind a little bit about the lovers okay yeah, you could be holding back you know about true love and stuff even though you're here in this ten of cups and the two of wands and there's some type of cross okay this came out too and the ten of wands so still deciding for yourself you know if you want to put yourself out there Oh, and the king of wands here. Okay, so we have it here at the beginning and the end, like a pair and everything. So um, that could be you know, really seeing you could have two options, but I could really be seeing that um, what you want to be is with your soulmate. So see too somebody bringing in some type of love offer to you because they're like they're coming back um but somebody is just maybe seeing that you are doing well and so they come back and and they try and pretend and say that you guys are soulmates but you're not and the world is here for you to end it again because you're supposed to have new beginnings with this death card and the first card that came out with the tower card was the six of wands. So this is a success. So it's almost like continuing on and through the future. There could be somebody here who is seeing um, that you're doing great. This privileged lady and stuff. And this queen of cups trying to like offer or, or maybe even telling you 
all of this stuff like oh my god like telling you stuff that you want to hear it, that would make you confuse the nine of swords Mm -hmm. So you still can walk away from that. There's another pair now, the King of Cups. Hmm. There could be just multiple offers coming in and that just gets really confusing. Maybe a, a, you have success and a, and a lot of people just start coming into your life, but this person could come, this queen of cups person can come and be really loving and all that. And that could make you confused, but eventually you would walk to the king of cups. So you would be that pair in the end, maybe like you can walk away and, and turn because the Eight of Cups is walking away to the Nine of Cups, right? But it's pointed at the King of Cups. So that's that wish fulfillment. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune. And the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom and the gift at the bottom, Ten of Pentacles. All of it's really positive. I think these things are, are things that were supposed to happen. And so it's going to eventually, through this long road, take you to, to to the people and the situations, like work and everything that you need to be in. That are like meant for you. I'm going to try and get another deck. Sorry. Oh, that could just be one situation. I guess I don't really need another deck. Let's just do something different. Because it's Friday. Um... to a card about them a card about you a card about them your person Aquarius this person and a sword it's okay they could be rushing in. They could be, you know, really being kind of like a really exciting, energetic person. They can have something really important that they want to tell you. <laughs> Give me another one. Hmm. That they could be, it could have been something that they were previously holding in that they don't want to hold in anymore, but it could be an offer of stability. What about you, Aquarius? The Nine of Cups, okay. Yeah, so right now, so the other reading that current was the Ten of Cups, right? So even in this one, like maybe just Aquarius is doing great right now. I mean, I feel great. I'm an Aquarius, anyways. So right now, I'm like Nine of Cups. Somebody sees you, <laughs> the lover, somebody sees you like as a wish fulfillment. And you're sitting here as the Nine of Cups and the lovers. Hmm. I asked who is this person and it says the moon so maybe the person doesn't really want you to know who they are it could be somebody that you don't know that has a crush on you the world okay it could be somebody that ended something before or they just finished some, you know some kind of cycle so now they're coming in to talk to you
the wheel of fortune yeah so the wheel is turning right now or they're doing everything ending cycles and rushing into offer stability um but they don't want you to know they want it to be a surprise the ace of cups are doing <laughs> all this to kind of like have some type of new beginning with you because i think that you are the nine of cups and the lovers Maybe you currently had ended something too. That's what they're waiting for. Dang, yeah. So now that you, you see that you've made wise decisions with the Two of Cups um, for your for your own sake. And the Seven of Pentacles that you're now laying solid foundations in your relationships. Um, so they can la last... I want to say last a lifetime the king of cups yeah you're really learning how to control your emotions and to be the best like um best person you can be for for relationships not only the past of um affect you the eight of wands okay Let's see what's going to happen between the two. The two of swords and the ten of wands. Okay. Not really knowing what to do. Okay. And the four of cups and the hierophant is coming out too. And that can be, you know, really waiting for just the right time. Um, that's like coming out too. You know, they're both people coming out of situations. So four of cups is waiting for the right time but this could be the one mm -hmm. ace of wands and the two of wands so that'll be a decision to make the star okay that's you working together the eight of pentacles or somebody you met at work yeah the three of pentacles wanting to work Let's try something else. What does um, Aquarius not know? What's something that's a secret? The Queen of Wands. Okay, that maybe. Aquarius is a, a lot more in control than they realize. The Six of Swords, yeah. Maybe somebody is going to be moving away to another person. That there's competition, yeah. somebody's even moving away from this competition to build a better foundation with you for a ten of cups or somebody's moving away to what they think is a ten of cups thing it's a decision that they had to make they think that this is going to make them happy because they have all these options, yeah. Things are just not balanced. The world, there's endings. Ten of Swords coming out again. 
the devil, people having issues, a two of swords, not knowing what to do, but things are not balanced. There's somebody else. There's decisions that need to be made or you guys are soulmates or somebody to soulmate with. There's a love offer. And spying about this message or this message is happening online or this, they're spying online. And then three of swords, heartbreak, okay. Could be somebody from work. That message sucked. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What's a something else we could do? More positive than that. What can Aquarius look forward to in the future? What can Aquarius look forward to in the future? The King of Swords. Awesome. I mean, that's you kind of bossing up. <laughs> the Four of Wands. Okay, some type of divine union. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, very nice. That could be, you know, trips out in nature. That could be animals. It could be pregnancy. The nine of wands and the two of wands. Okay. This could be somebody who's been in and out of your life. You have this, right? Who like broke your heart. They could be coming back. You could have this decision to make. Somebody you've been waiting for, this three of one. What do you say? In the world. <laughs> You're like, no, thank you. This all fell out. What is all this? The Ace of Swords, because you're smarter now. The Six of, of Pentacles, you have an equal give and take. The King of Cups, you have a lot to offer. And the Queen of Wands, you are in charge of how your life goes. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, you're turning the wheel. Justice, um, to have um, nice karma. Your Queen of Pentacles, just staying a good person. So then you have the Fool, you'll have a new opportunity. And the Seven of Wands, you'll know exactly what you want and what you don't want. Ace of Cups. Just being in control of everything and having new off love offers now because you love yourself and the magician. You have everything um, in your power to um, achieve whatever you want. If you have a person, or the person you're thinking about, how does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person think about Aquarius? That you're fair? That you're soulmate? Well, these are like all major arcanas coming out. The Emperor, that you're the big, big bells. The Hierophant, <laughs> that's so crazy. Um, they want to marry you, what are all these coming in? The Nine of Swords, oh, they stay up all night, they're worried about you maybe. The Nine of Cups about, um, about the love, they're worried you, I don't know, they're nervous. Ten of Swords because they've been hurt before, hello. 
<laughs> the knight of swords that they think like you know you might be like running running away from them the knight of pentacles they think you're steady these two keep popping out together i think like a main theme is they think that you guys are opposite so they see you and maybe you see yourself too as this person as like a knight of pentacles this steady person working towards their goal you're somebody reliable etc etc your person thinks that they are just like running in and out of your life kind of you know that they don't know what they want you know and they kind of fap around and stuff and but they do think that you are the ten of cups so you're just everything and, and you see yourself as a ten of cups right now too as the reading says and the fool cards they think of you as a new opportunity and the knight of pentacles they think you're abundant and actually they think you're fine on your own without them all the cards fell the nine of wands they think that um you've been hurt before in the past and um but you're still willing to um find love in things like find beauty and stuff still How do you feel about your person? How does Aquarius feel about their person? Maybe you're in denial. <laughs> How's Aquarius see? How's Aquarius feel about their person? Doesn't come out. How does Aquarius feel about their person? How do they really feel? The sun. <laughs> the Aquarius really feel about their person. What's that? <gasps> the four four. <laughs> What's this? The Queen of Cups. <laughs> So you love them, you love everything about them, you want to marry them, you think they're perfect and lovely. You guys both think of each other as the Knight of Swords, which is crazy. You think maybe they have other people though. There's competition like somehow. The Emperor, you guys both think of each other as like bosses. ace of swords that there's somebody that like you are, are surprised how much y you love to spend time with them like it's surprising how much you guys have in common the eight of cups okay you feel like they're maybe walking away from things still um that they have stuff in the past that they still need to get rid of in the hanged man so you you think that that you, you're kind of helping them um, see love differently. Yeah, that kind of the same. That you guys in these pentacles that you guys have both have like just been through so much in the past, like not with each other, but with other people in past relationships. Um, you guys both feel that way that you kind of like <laughs> damaged goods. So what action is Aquarius's person gonna take? Please like this video. Mm -hmm. Action is Aquarius. This person going and they're gonna bring balance with the new love offer. Yeah, the new, the death card, new stuff. The Knight of Cups, new offer. The Page of Wands will be a message or, um, like text message <laughs> about being soulmate the 
or getting married, um, or and getting married. Um, the King of Cups, how much they love you, and the Five of Cups, how much they've been hurting to think of being without you. The justice that they would like to have justice, and the Nine of Cups at the bottom. What action is Aquarius going to take with their person? What's Aquarius going to do? The chariot have a new beginning. Queen of Swords on focus on their happiness. Do what makes them happy. Nine of Cups have a wish fulfillment. Eight of Cups walking away. Four of Pentacles walking away from keeping everything inside. And the Four of Swords are going to take time to, you know, reflect on all of this. And the Emperor. It's okay, they're going to boss up. The Ace of Wands have that new love offer too with you. With who? With their person. Yeah, with their person. Look. The two of wands and the emperor with the empress. Go Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And give it one more shot with the nine of wands. Four, yeah, for something that they think that is a divine union with the four of wands. The stars at the bottom, too. All right, well, I'm getting kind of tired, so I think that's like a ton of messages. That was really fun. I hope that something resonated. Um, if you want me to do this with another sign, just leave me a comment before. If you like this reading, like the video and leave a comment or whatever. And I will, I'll, if you want to book a private, <laughs> I'm tired. If you want to book a private reading, email me at findingpeyote, um at gmail.com. Or if you just want to email me or whatever. And, um... Yeah, um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.